Okay, so I broke this one off at five inches. I've got a bucket right here full of water because we want to keep this knife cool. We don't want to turn this thing blue and lose our temper in the blade. It's already really hard and we're not going to anneal it. We're not going to heat the blade up and let it cool naturally and what's called anneal the blade to make it soft again because we have a handle on here that we don't want to come off. So we're going to do this the easy way. We're just going to use a bench grinder, but we're going to constantly have to keep it cool. So there's the initial profile of our blade. And you can see we didn't turn it blue or anything like that. So we didn't mess with the temper. We just need to keep it cool. There's a secret to that.
I wouldn't want this thing to be my main knife by any stretch. But if I had a kid looking for a cheap knife, there's not that much time invested in this for what you're going to have when it's done. The secret really is this stone more than anything else. And these old garden stones aren't expensive. Just a double-sided garden stone. Like I said, it probably costs less than a buck at a flea market. And some elbow grease. And you can make a real usable knife out of this thing. You're not building something perfect here. You're building something functional and quick and cheap. And this ain't what I call common man. This is what I call cheap. But it'll get the job done for sure. We got it a whole lot sharper up here than we do right here. We got some work to do there. Let's heat this thing up on top of a grill here. Cheap yard sale thing. I'm not going to use a heat gun on this. We're going to do it the easy way. Or I should say the poor man way. You just need to get that hot enough to bell it out some. Just like that. So when we put the piece in, it bells out to shape. Just like that. Because it was actually a little bit too small to go in there. So that'll bell it out. We'll let it cool down. Actually, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and form the rest of it while we're here. <coughs> we'll heat the rest of this up and we'll smash it down. All right, just going to heat this piece of PVC up with a knife in it here. right there. Smash that dude down just like that. Put a vise on it for a minute, let it cool. Here. There we go. Snap. 
snaps in, locks in there pretty good. I like that. All right, now we got to do something about the bottom of it here. Then we'll be having something. Okay, our knife sits down to about right there, so that's where we want the bottom of the sheath. If we want to, we can kind of take that thing up and curve it a little bit like this. It's not square. We'll go from there. All right, so I just took that thing over on the grinder and ground it off. Now I'm just gonna sand it smooth with a this old cheap sanding board here, sanding sponge. If I sand this thing down, I could actually throw a coat of spray paint on there and it'll stick to it. Or I can buy that plastic coat of spray paint, but that stuff is usually gloss colored. Like I said, we're not trying to make anything perfect here anyway. We're after function, not too much fashion here. But I don't like white, so we'll slap a coat of black spray paint or something on here before it's over. Pops right in there, I like that. Doesn't hurt anything that's open on the bottom right here. Just gives you drainage in case you get water in the sheath or something like that. Especially if you were operating in a swamp or something like that. You were using a Kydex type sheath, you want that drain hole in there. And the bigger that drain hole is, the better to get sand and stuff out of it. But I think that uh, for what we got in this thing, which is probably less than two bucks, all said and done, even with the PVC, definitely got a usable little knife there. And you still got the capability of the file on the side. So you got a multifunctional tool because you can scrape with it like a spoke shave on those fine shavings, things like that for processing. You've got the knife and once you get that thing sharp, it's going to stay sharp for a long time because hardened steel just takes a long time and a lot of elbow grease to get the thing sharp. Got a comfortable rubber handle so it's not going to slip in the rain or the wet weather. And you got a nice tight lockable sheath there. Can't hardly beat that for two bucks. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for myself, for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, affiliates, instructors, and friends. And I'll be back to another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.